Hey, it's Kevin. Kevin Rap Cook Fishing. This episode, we're going to be talking about why you should start fly fishing and five tips for starting. Why should you start fly fishing? You've been spin fishing your whole life. You catch plenty of fish. Why do you need to start fly fishing? To catch more fish. There are certain types of fish that are just extremely difficult to catch with artificials if you're not fly fishing. And then there are some fish like trout, for example, when they're eating top water, there is nothing that will catch them with the consistency of a dry fly. So there are certain situations, certain types of fish, where learning how to fly fish will give you the advantage and will help you to catch tons more fish. So now let's discuss five tips that you should know if you want to start fly fishing. Number one, don't let anybody sell you or talk you into buying super expensive fly rod gear at the beginning. Start with a cheap fly rod, cheap reel, so you can learn the basics on it to see if you even want to keep doing it. Trust me, you can catch fish with a piece of crap fly rod. It won't matter at the beginning. Get something cheap to start with. That way, if you end up not liking it, you didn't invest in a whole lot anyway. And if you're really terrible when you're practicing and you crack it against something or anything else happens, you won't have lost a lot of money when you break it. Many people ask what weight of rod or size of rod should I start out with? And generally the consensus is a five weight or a six weight. A five weight and a six weight can uh, handle bigger fish upwards of 10 pounds. It might be difficult, but they can handle it but they can also be fun for smaller fish that you might catch in small streams. So most people would start out with a five or six weight where you can handle trout and bass, which are two of the most popular fish to go after. Personally, I have a three weight for small stream fly fishing, a six weight for trout and bass, and then an eight weight for salmon and carp and bigger species. But if you're just starting out, I'd recommend starting out with a five or a six weight. Number two tip for learning how to fly fish, learn your knots. You gotta be proficient in tying knots. It'll be extremely helpful. Here are the knots I think you need to know right away when starting to fly fish. Advanced clinch knot. You should be tying all your flies with at least an advanced clinch knot to start. Surgeon's loop knot. You'll want to know the surgeon's loop knot. It's critical for tying your fly line to your leader. Union knot and double union knot. Awesome knots to learn. I'll tell you a little bit more about the double union knot and why it can be so great for fly fishing and why it can save you a lot of money with fly fishing. Number three tip for starting fly fishing, build your own leaders. Buy cheap line, fluorocarbon, monofilament, buy cheap line, build your own leaders. A fly leader is generally tapered. It's thicker towards the fly line and it gets much, much thinner at the end of it that will attach to your fly. That way the line closest to your fly isn't very visible for the fish. Those leaders, those tapered leaders are expensive. When you're first starting out, don't spend that much money. In fact, this might save you a lot of money in the long run of fly fishing. This is where the double union knot becomes critical. Start with heavier line, go to lighter line. You take that heavier line, say 10 pound line, double union knot that to say eight pound line, double union knot that to six pound line, double union knot that to two or four pound line. You've created a tapered leader, a leader that starts thicker for casting efficiency to make it easier to cast, but at the very end that attaches to your fly, it's very thin line that won't be seen by the fish. Or to simplify it even more, use heavy line for the entire length of your leader. Then at the very end, known as tippet, use light line, such as two to four pound monofilament to attach your fly to. A question a lot of you might ask is, how long should my leader be? 
a really easy place to start is about the length from your reel to the tip of your rod. It can be longer or shorter, depending on uh, numerous factors, but a good place to start is from where your reel goes on your fly rod to the tip of the fly rod. Use about that much leader and build your own leaders accordingly. Fourth tip for starting fly fishing, watch videos on casting and practice at a park or somewhere where you have a lot of room, both side to side, in all directions, and you can really give it a ton of practice. You're gonna want a lot of room, a lot of space. You don't want trees around. Get out and practice before you get out and do the real thing. Trust me, it'll save you a lot of time and frustration out on the water. And number five, my last tip for starting to fly fish, really, is a tip you should be doing with any type of fishing, is watch videos and study and learn water. Whether you're fishing still water or moving water, you need to understand where the fish that you're targeting is likely to be and why. Fly fishing in itself is pretty easy once you get the casting down. After you get the casting down, the motions of casting, then it's just fishing, and to be successful at fishing, you need to know about fish. You need to know why fish are in different locations and behaving differently and eating differently at different times. So study fishing, get online, research. I'll leave some links in the description of this video of videos that I've made teaching you how to read water, different things to look for and to do to help you be more successful at fishing. Learning how to fly fish can help you catch more species, but more importantly, it just adds another tool to your toolbox of being a successful fisherman or woman. When I go out on fishing trips in my truck, I carry two spinning rods and two fly rods at all times because I wanna be able to catch fish no matter what's going on or what kind of circumstances or what kind of behavior or activity uh, the fish are presenting with. So I'll carry those with me and based on what's happening, I'll grab my fly rod or I'll grab my spinning rod whatever tool will get the job done best. All right guys, so there you have it, my five tips for starting fly fishing. I hope you found this video useful. If you liked it, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Thanks so much for choosing Kevin Rapcook Fishing. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.